While the king is undergoing treatment, his wife, the hope and support of the entire monarchy, attended as many as 13 events. This is a party with the stars at Buckingham Palace, and an event in honor of Shakespeare at Grosvenor House, and a memorial service in honor of King Constantine and others. Considering that, in fact, the royal family was left without workers, Camilla almost single-handedly headed these meetings, and now, as the palace press service reports, the king's wife is tired. Due to the fact that she had to hold the royal fort alone, Camilla went on vacation abroad on a private flight. But where exactly she will fly and whether any of her relatives will accompany her is not yet clear. However, it is reported that the Queen intends to devote attention to herself and her family in the coming weeks. It is clarified that on March 11th she will make an exception and appear in Westminster Abbey to lead the service in honour of Commonwealth Day on behalf of the King. Charles will remain on sick leave, but the King will record a video message for residents of the Commonwealth countries with words of gratitude for their support. Royal biographer Ingrid Seward claims Charles is very worried about his wife, who works hard for the whole family, occasionally attending events and meeting people. The monarch believes that his wife is exhausted, so she needs to save her health and strength, which she will still need to once again lead the royal family during important events. Significantly, this comes at a time when the palace has reiterated again and again that the Prince of Wales remains committed to putting his family first, and the king has his full support in this. Charles sees his wife as exhausted, says Ingrid Seward. Camilla's main concern was for her husband's health, but she also had to juggle a busy royal schedule and wanted to be there for him and Kate when each, they had health problems. She definitely deserves some rest and relaxation. The writer's words about Camilla's desire to work for the benefit of the crown and at the same time, be close to her husband and Kate, sound especially touching. However, a different opinion was not expected from Ingrid Seward, who described Charles's life in her recently published book as complete suffering without Camilla, and who crushed Diana, presenting her as a terrible person who only interfered with the lives of others. It is not yet known who will replace Charles, Camilla, and Kate at royal events, but it is clear that the Prince of Wales will still have to step up somehow. We will continue to watch this Game of Thrones. According to the press, it is the heir to the throne who will replace Queen Camilla while she relaxes at a sunny resort. Yes, yes, this is exactly the wording used by royal experts, as if Camilla is the reigning queen and needs to be replaced during her vacation. Charles, the actual reigning monarch, is somehow not taken into account in this strange equation. The press reports that Camilla, like Atlas, on whose shoulders the British monarchy rested, entrusts the management of royal affairs to Princess Anne and the Prince of Wales. Kensington Palace is already aware that William will have to mobilize all his strength to appear at various events in the name of the crown for a whole week. Although the Queen has her own work schedule, she still took the liberty of taking a nice private flight to recharge and recharge. Moreover, she has someone to leave the royal work to. It is difficult to say in what and how William will replace Camilla, if it is sometimes difficult for him to work even for himself. The press pins its hopes on Princess Anne as the hardest working member of the family, who never complains and, without demands for vacation or severance pay, works on an equal footing with the monarch. At the same time, the royal source claims that Camilla is very inspired by the role of the leading member of the royal family. She is also pleased to receive praise from members of the public about how well she is handling her role as head of the royal family while her husband is ill and undergoing serious treatment. Although she did not expect to find herself in the position of head of a family, the Queen is absolutely ready to do whatever is necessary for this institution. She was encouraged by the public reaction. 
She discovered reserves of energy that she did not even know she had, and the appreciation of her by those in the palace increased sharply when she took the wheel, an insider told the newspaper. That is, according to an insider, a person from Camilla's circle, it is not the heir to the throne, but Camilla, who is at the helm of the monarchy in the absence of the king. This opinion is being replicated by insiders and royal experts all over the media, since the king's wife is more often seen in public than William. Her majesty is strong, positive and determined to keep moving forward while the king is not on government duties, the insider said. The king is proud and delighted to see the show go on thanks to the queen and the whole family. Well, at least he mentioned his family and that's good. It remains only to see how many royal events the heir will attend during Camilla's vacation and whether the overall picture will change by Easter.